Yeah, hey everybody. Today we are gonna look at adding a pre-launch or uh, a product or sign up form to every listing on your directory. This is for those of you who are using my listing theme specifically. All right, so I've gotten a lot of questions about using the short codes and the HTML and extending the listings in some cool and creative ways to give your audience a wider assortment of offers and opportunities to sell or offer to your audience. There are lots of cool ways to do this. There are lots of ways to monetize your directory using this uh, approach. I'm just going to show you one more today. We've certainly covered lots of these in some other videos. Uh, so hopefully this gives you some new ideas for your campaigns as well. All right. So a little bit of backstory. This is going to be the directory piece for our mindfulness uh, marketplace community. Uh, lots of these elements are in place already, but the directory is not something that we've really focused on yet. So one of the things that I really want to be able to do is give my listings the opportunity to have lots of information on their profiles. At the same time, I also want, especially because we're going to be giving away lots of free profiles in the beginning, I want the ability to leverage the individual listings to my benefit or to our benefit, because this is not just my community. So I want to be able to use each profile to promote other things. So when Joe Schmo or Jane Doe, you know, adds a listing for free to our mindfulness uh, community, whether she's a meditation teacher or whether he's a yogi or vice versa, I want them to be able to have lots of great content to offer our audience. But I also want to be able to leverage their profile in a way that benefits our community as well. So one of the things that I'm going to do for that is add some of my own products or, or our own services to that mix. All right. So let's look at this. This is just a random example uh, profile that I set up. And what I want to do, as you can see, here's the description. Here's the location, which is not showing up just yet. Here are the gallery images. Here's a contact, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Here's a messenger ID uh, button. So anyone in the public can contact us directly. And again, this is just a template example that we built that you know will be scaled across the directory. So using this, someone can connect with us via our Facebook page. Here's our social stream. Here's my personal uh, Twitter feed, uh, which is going to be changed to the community, not just me. All right. But what I want to do is add, let's say, an opt-in form for a product that we're selling as a community. So here's what I'm going to do. And, you know, by association, here's what you're going to do later. So I'm going to go to listing types. I'm going to scroll down to place, which is the business uh, listing name. I'm going to go to single page, content and tabs, then to profile. And here is all of, or here are all of the elements that are represented on any given listing. So this is the total amount of potential information blocks that are represented on single listings. Again, it's very important to understand this. I am a complete code dummy. I'm a marketing person, a writer. I'm certainly not a coder. So if you think this is challenging or you think I know something special that you don't, it's only because I force myself into this domain of knowledge, right? I, I, this is not my natural wheelhouse. So if I can do this, so too can you. I mean, you know, I am certainly not a code expert. All right, so all these things here are the elements or code blocks that are displayed on the front end of the directory. Description, work hours, gallery, location, categories, contact. This is Buddy Press, Messenger ID. We just looked at that a minute ago. Facebook stream, I just showed you that a minute ago. My Twitter stream, all of this is what you see on the front side. All right, so what we want to do is 
Here are the short codes. Again, this is all stuff you can add from the blocks below, right? So I added this short code and just to save time, I added a launch code uh, block. So I know what goes here. All right, now actually I cheated. I added the, the code already earlier. So I'm gonna remove it. Now I'm gonna go next to Podia. This is my account for, this is where I sell courses and digital downloads and uh, email offers and my affiliate program. All this runs through podia.com. If you're not using this, I certainly recommend it. It's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna take this form and this is just a single product. In this case, affiliate marketing made easy. It's $99. It's in pre-launch right now. And this is the code that will allow me to embed this anywhere else on any external page. This is the sales page, just so you can get some context to this. Okay, so this is just what this looks like. Here's the opt-in form. Here's a short description of what they get for 99 bucks, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so let's go back to this now that we have some reference. And all I want to accomplish with this move is I want that offer to appear on every listing on my directory. So I'm gonna copy this code. I'm gonna go back here, launch code. Let me change the word here, wording here. And we'll say affiliate marketing made easy because that's exactly what that product is. I'm gonna paste that code that I just copied from Podia. I'm gonna update the listing. This is not a single listing, by the way, this is every listing. So this is now ubiquitous throughout the community. So every single listing is going to have that code. So let's go to all listings. Let's go back to the one we just peeked at. Here it is. Here's the header image, big picture of Einstein. Here's a little graphic I stole from somewhere. Here's the map, tags. Here's the body press profile, contact, messenger ID, Facebook stream, my Twitter account. Ah, here you go, affiliate marketing made easy. So now that this form is gonna show up on every single profile on the site. Sign me up. Boom. All right. I am now subscribed to this pre-launch sequence. Now, it's important to remember that if you have a thousand members on your site, so, you know, Joe, you know, John Doe, Jane Doe, you have a thousand listings on your, on your directory. They're all going to be showing your opt-in form. They're gonna have their Twitter feed, their Facebook stream, their messenger button, but your community opt-in form. This is a great way of leveraging your audience to build your brand, right? So every time Jane Doe gets traffic to her profile, she's actually subtly promoting my affiliate marketing made easy course. Now I could put five of these on every profile. There is no limit using my listing, how many code blocks you can add. I wanna show you one other really cool thing that is sort of important from a conversion standpoint, and it's really easy using this theme. Go back, single page, content and tabs, Profile, go back and find that affiliate marketing made easy. Well, it's all the way at the bottom, as we've all seen several times. That's not going to convert so great. So let's move it on top of the description. So now this is the most prominent block. Oh, shit. Didn't want to do that. All right. That doesn't make a difference. It's still... It's still 
position in the right place. I didn't want to add a second block, which I inadvertently did there. Let's go back to the live site. Let's search meditation. Do I come up? All right, here's a different listing that we also added. And what do you see? At the very top of this is a completely different listing. The first piece of information that anyone's going to see is this sign up button for my affiliate marketing made easy course. So this could be Jane Doe, John Doe, Joe Blow. It matters not. They're promoting my offer at the very top of their profile. Now, you have to use some degree of good taste with this. You don't want to overwhelm your profiles with your own offers. You have to position them subtly and with some degree of grace and gratitude uh, for your members. But if you're giving free listings away, that is certainly a trade-off that you can put forward. Yelp, for an example, on top of every uh, listing often has paid ads. Um, you know, so people are promoting paid members by dint of their Yelp profile. So, you know, you can certainly do this in an ethical way, be bold, be audacious, and be willing to experiment. If you get a lot of complaints, you know, and people don't like that, well, then you can offer paid listings and remove something like this from the premium uh, listings. My listing theme certainly allows great flexibility in that respect as well. Or you can just move this down lower or down to the side, you know, or whatever works best for you. All right. Hope this makes sense. I do recommend uh, those of you who are looking to build an affiliate program and who are really looking to scale up your business, try Podia.com. Uh, you can use my affiliate link below. And if you do, if you sign up for a free trial for 30 days um, using my link, let me know and I'm happy to give you some uh, private pointers as well. All right. Hope this helps. Any questions, feel free, as always, to ask below. Thanks.